A new plan to desegregate the city schools is being met by a lot of resistance and opposition. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has this. New York City, the largest school system in the country, is what some say is the most segregated, with 70% of students black and Hispanic, yet white and Asian students are the majority at its highest performing schools that have a high stakes admissions process. These opportunities are exclusionary, right? They don't reach every single student in the city. So today, a panel appointed by the mayor announced recommendations for the next five years, including placing a moratorium on kindergarten, middle, and high school gifted and talented programs, including screened schools, ending any school's admissions process that's based on exams, attendance, and grades. These exclude the eight state mandated elite high schools like Stuyvesant. We're not taking away, we're expanding and adding based on what works. New proposed practices include creating magnet schools based on interests like math, science, and humanities, and offering advanced classes in every school. This is not about lowering the bar. It's about giving all of our students what they need to meet the bar that we set. But some minorities say the solution is actually expanding the current programs across the city. They worry eliminating testing will eliminate necessary competition. If you remove the screen, you now have a mixed bag of talent, and therefore you don't necessarily know how the school is actually going to perform. Uh, we get rid of testing. Um, we're really open to subjective uh, 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 decision making. And I think that uh, on one hand, you'll see a lot of um, parents maybe send their kids to private schools, and again, you're just furthering the income gap. Others disagree. There are some gifted and talented programs that have selected kids at four years old who will be anointed for eventual placement in those specialized high schools. That's unfair. A mayor's spokesperson says he's reviewing the recommendations. In Lower Manhattan, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. And we're told a decision by the mayor is not expected for at least a few months.